Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. Today we are taking a look at Oxford Greens by Big Cat 23 Wayne. As you can see, fairways are normal, greens are normal, green speed's fast, everything else has left the default. We are going to be playing off the black tees which are playing 7,255 yards and pin set number one. Now this is a designer who, when he released a course in the past, I could not wait to go and play it. Unfortunately, I've not played one of his courses in a while, so really looking forward to Oxford Greens. So, hole number one, par four, playing 452 yards, stroke index six. This is a boreal theme. Unfortunately, with the boreal theme, I've never met a designer, I've never met, met a designer anyway, but I've never come across a designer who can make the bunkers look good and natural on the boreal theme. According to Big Wayne, you cannot just pull out driver and rip it down the fairway in this, this um, course. You've got to use uh, shot shaping. That isn't easy to see. So I'm seeing a gap between these two trees here that I would like to go and take on. Hopefully we've got enough fairway to work with. It's a decent opening swing. And we do manage to find that gap between the two trees. And that is going to keep us on the left-hand side of the fairway. So 123 yards. Up two feet. Five mile per hour wind that will carry us slightly, but also bring us right to the left. So just lofting up this, this gap wedge a touch. Wind keeps fluctuating. Oh, that's a beautiful swing. That wind's took us round to the left more than I would have liked. Yardage was going to be bang on to. That's probably going to leave us about an 8 foot putt for birdie. 9 foot. Green speeds are 178. This one's going to turn slightly to the right. Just going to play this firm. And it does turn into the edge of the cup and we do start with an opening birdie. So hole number two, par four, playing 467 yards, stroke index four. Fairways look as if they're going to be quite tight here. This one's a dog leg left. Looks like a tricky pin position, this one. But yeah, I just don't know what it is with <laughs> the bunkers with the boreal theme. They just, they just don't look right. They don't look natural. But I am aware that the designers are given very limited tools to design these great courses. But it's another good tee shot, just finding the right center off the fairway. And you are about 150 yards. So we're 150 yards out, up 10 feet. Nine irons is going to be bang on, actually. I'm actually just lofting this a touch, just to get that extra hang time in the air and hope this three mile per hour wind does carry us. I'm just looking to, to land this slightly right of the flag stick. It's a decent swing. Should bounce out fairly aggressive for us. And that should set us up for a nice four to five foot putt. For the birdie, there shouldn't be much break in this one. No, there isn't. Simple five footer. And we do start the round with back to back birdies and move to two under par. So great start to the round. Let's move on to hole number three, par five. Playing 540 yards, stroke index 18. So this is the easiest hole on the course. Hopefully we can take advantage of that and walk away with birdie. Not been playing the par fives as well as I could have lately in the in previous uh, rounds, albeit most of that was on true sim. I did uh, accidentally press the X button there, guys, so we didn't see the full flyover but just trying to fade this round this tree a little bit don't want to apply too much fade because there is a tree on the right hand side 
Just try to find the, th the gap between the fairway and this tree that you're away to see in a minute. There we go. That's a well-positioned tree there. I think we just clipped the leaf. I'm not sure if we did, actually, because we've gotten good distance in that. No, we must have just avoided it altogether. And that means we should be able to attack this green in two quite convincingly. But that was a well-strategically placed tree. So far, we have had to think about each and every tee shot. So just deal off in this two iron. Oh, it's a great strike. Now, this should bounce. Oh, it's not going to carry. Wow, I am amazed at that. I fully expected to carry that bunker, which was only 212 yards. That wind must have really affected that tee shot. So we're going to have a flop shot. Just looking to get this as close to the pin as possible. We're really de in this due to the 83 to 91% light. It's a great execution. This should run all the way up. Is it going to drop? And what a fantastic flop shot that is. And we should be walking away with birdie number three. But yeah, very surprised at that two iron. The wind doesn't normally affect the, the two iron too much. But that time it certainly did. But hole number four, par four, playing 314 yards, stroke index 12. Change of light in here, change of mood. The sun's came out and I much prefer this look compared to the first three holes where it was kind of doom and gloomy. But this is a beautiful looking hole, playing 314 yards, stroke index 12. This is the best looking hole by far. And it's a teaser. Ooh, I'm going to take this on, guys. This is going to kick hard left. I'm just hoping that the rough does hold us up. The rough is going to be in play here. It should sit down. It does just. And we should be left with a little flop shot. 20 yards out. Oh, this tree's going to be an issue. It's going to be hard to get a good camera angle here. So 20 yards out. Heavy rough. 73 to 80%. It's definitely going to be the flop shot. There we go. We can see our lie now. This ball's going to move slightly to the left. Just lofting this up a touch. Due to the downhill slope we're playing on. This shouldn't bite as quick as it normally would coming out the rough. Should run on a fair bit. There we go. It's run on a little bit more than I would have liked. I'm amazed we got that distance, you know. So five footer. Should turn. It does turn. And we do pick up another birdie and we're totally destroying this this course in the early holes. We are four under. Par five, first of the par threes. Look at that bridge, that's really, really cool. And it is a short par five, playing 114 yards. So into a five mile per hour wind. Geez, oh, I can't recall the last time I've used a sand wedge on a par three. Really refreshing, I do like that. Normally a lot of designers make par threes as long as they can. But it's also nice just to, to test your short game. So I'm really de in this. It's a beautiful clean strike. Oh, that wind's really holding that up. That's going to come up short. I didn't expect that wind to hold that up as much as that, you know. All right, 13 footer here. So we've came up 13 feet short. This is a tough putt. This is only here. We're on hole number five, and this is the first time we've had a test and putt, to be honest. That needs to turn. No. Misread that green completely. And we are going to walk away with the first part of the round. But there you go, guys. You don't need to make a really difficult par three with distance. It can be a short par three. I was really in between clubs there. Didn't deal off that wedge enough. But hole number six, par four, playing 430 yards, stroke index eight. Lovely creek going up the left-hand side of the fairway here. But I much prefer this colour 
this light in mood than the first three holes, first four holes. But once again, it looks like we're going to have to be cautious with the tee shot. I want to keep this... Ooh, let me see. The wind in the fairway should kick us to the left. But I think if I'm too close to that water, it's going to leave me in between clubs. So I'm just looking to use the entire length of this fairway. It's a beautiful strike. And it should set us up. I would like to say lob wedge. Pitching wedge. Okay, so I'm still kind of in between clubs. I think I'm going to have to... Let's have a look at the gap wedge de-lofted. I don't like the look of that. Let's go for the, the pitching wedge and loft it up. So it's playing 133 yards. Two mile per hour wind behind us. I'm just trying to fire this right at the pin. That needs to get down. Needs to get down. Oh, this could be beautiful. That should sit in a sixpence. Didn't bite as quickly as I would have liked, but we are going to have about a five to six foot putt for birdie. It's going to be a downhill putt. It's not a downhill putt. It looked like it would be a downhiller. This one's just going to turn slightly to the left. It does turn and we do pick up birdie number five. And we move to five under par. But like I say, big big Wayne, or big cat, Wayne23, whatever you want to call him. I'm not sure if his, his surname, his first name must be Wayne. But um, like I do say, it, when the Golf Club 2019 came out, he was one of my go-to designers and we have covered a lot of his courses. It has been a while, like I said at the start of the video, since we've played any of Wayne's courses. But hole number 7, par 5, 576 yards, stroke index 16. Once again, it's another nice looking hole. This bunker on the right hand side. Just making this fairway that little bit tighter. But we are going to apply a touch of fade here. Just to take this round that bend of the fairway. This should kick forward for us. Ah, we've played that really, really well. Just the, the ideal amount of fade applied to that tee shot. And it should be another par 5 where we can reach the green in 2. If this kicks right about... Let me see the slope. If this just kicks right on the start of the green where I'm hoping, this could really give us an eagle opportunity going by the way the, the green contours. Oh, we're going to miss the green. It's going to come up short. I was hoping we were just going to kick... Kick, land on the green and kick on from the green, which would have gave us that extra distance. But we've came up short there, 42 feet, down 4 inches. This one is breaking all the way to the right. But due to the, the lack of pace I'm applying to this, the break will exaggerate. Just applying a few extra touches. Should work its way down and start to turn. It's got a good line. Has it got the legs? It had the legs, just didn't have the, the line that really moved a lot more to the right that last 6-7 feet. But a straightforward birdie opportunity here. Which we do convert. And we do move to 6 under par. So 5 birdies and 1 par. But hole number 8, par 3, playing 209 yards, stroke index 2. And what a beautiful looking par 3 this one is. So a lot of variation here in the par 3s. The last one was a really short par 3. This is going to be a, a long par 3 playing at 209 yards. Down 5 feet. We've got a 7 mile per hour wind behind us. So I'm going to come all the way down at the 6 iron. Going to de-loft it. And I'm really looking for this ball. As you can see the green really breaks hard left. Really looking for this ball to travel well along the green. Should turn to the left. So we are aiming this to the right. It's a beautiful clean strike. I'm not sure how well it's going to run out. It's going to come up a few feet short, but I'll tell you what, it's actually not a bad effort. 
That pin was well protected by the contours of the green. And we've got a 17 foot putt. It's up one inch. That should turn. Oh, it does turn. And we do pick up another birdie. There's not a great deal of challenge on these greens, in my opinion. I think we've had one putt, which we did miss. It was a bad read. Apart from that, the rest have been pretty basic. Hole number nine. Short par four. Playing 398 yards, stroke index 14. Tight fairway here once again. Cool car park. And I take it. This could well be the clubhouse there. A little putt and green outside it. But I really like the layout of the course. Very cool. Comfortably hit driver here over the top of this bunker. Not when you put a slow on it though. That is now going to go plugged in the bunker I would imagine. Is it? Oh no, what a fortunate kick. That's my first perfect slow there, Ryan. Like I say, I have been getting a lot of them recently, unfortunately. But it is due to my controller sensitivity. If I don't get that motion 100% perfect, I struggle. So we're making this hole slightly more difficult now. But taking that into consideration, lofting that up because we are on a down slope, which does add yards. It's a good swing. Tell you something, this is right at it. This is right at it. Is it going to bite? It does bite. And that should be about a six foot putt for birdie. Well, it's five foot. But once again, guys, very little challenge in the greens. It does turn into the heart of the cup. And we do make another birdie. So a solid front nine. We are eight under. Could have been nine under. We've had birdie opportunities in every hole. We failed to take it on on the hole we parred. But hole number 10. Long par 5. Playing 592 yards. Stroke in the next 13. Dog leg right. Kind of back to the, the dark, gloomy light in here. But huge bunker on the right hand side protecting the green. I don't think we'll reach this green in two. Winds die down to 4 mile per hour. I think we should be able just to apply a touch of fade here. And fade this round the bunker. But there's not been as much short shaping required as I was hoping. That should be bang on. Should start to turn. There we go. It's a really good drive. And that's another fairway and regulation we've hit. I don't think we'll be able to reach this green in two. It will be close. I tell you what. I didn't expect to be as close to the green as this. As you can see, that slope's really going to guard it. It's going to be a case of have we got the legs to get up that slope. We'll give it a go. It's a clean strike. I tell you something, I think we're going to make it up here. That should start to turn if it gets up. Is it going to stay up? It is going to stay up. It just holds the top of that plateau. And we are going to have an eagle opportunity here. Ah, oh, there's nothing in this. Really disappointed in that. Really disappointed that there's no break in that. And we do pick up an eagle. I would like to think that that range... I don't have a straightforward putt. And we move to 10 under par. Hole number 11. Par 3 playing 215 yards, stroke index 3. Really nice looking hole this one. Green is sandwiched between two bunkers. So 7 mile per hour wind, 211 yards. I'm going to have to come down to 5 iron. I'm just looking to land this on the fringe. We're really in between clubs here. Really in between clubs. Five hybrids, far too long. Five iron could come up short unless I catch this fringe. It's a good clean strike. That needs to stay up. It needs to stay up. Oh, we're about two yards in making that where it would have kicked out. 
So we've came up short there, 12 yards short, in the heavy rough. That ball just died instantly in the heavy rough, which I do like. I want to be punished. But I was really in between clubs there. So really de-loft in this. That should run out well. Is it going to sit? Oh, I put a slow fast on the, the swing. And it does look like we could well be dropping a shot here. Got an 11 foot putt, up 4 inch. Going to turn to the left. Weight's really important here. Hold its line, hold its line. Oh, it does hold its line and we do manage to scramble the par after an unlucky tee shot and a poor chip shot. And we are going to remain at 10 under par. Hole number 12. It's another long par 5, playing 598 yards, stroke index 15. Sun's disappeared once again. I think this fairway could well be tight. I think we'll be looking to land at about there, in between that bunker and fairway. Once again, a huge bunker on the right-hand side here. I mean, this is a bar to, bar to the bunkers which we've touched upon, which is not the designer's fault. This is a really natural, simplistic course, which plays well. So just try to find the gap between the bunker and the rough here and find the centre of the fairway. Beautiful execution. That should kick slightly over to the left-hand side. And it should really open this green for us if we can get the range to attack it. No, we're going to come up short. 306 yards. But I really like how that bunker's been placed there. This is now not the easiest of layup shots. Ball's going to move slightly to the left at my feet. And that should hopefully kick slightly to the right. And that is going to leave us a pitch shot, maybe even a long flop shot. Sweet. So 50 yards out, I think if we fully loft up the pitch, this should be bang on. This should drop about 50 yards stone dead actually. Going from previous experiences, if I do execute it well, we have executed that well. This should 50 yards max. It's came up short, 48 yards. So it's going to be a 9 foot putt. But once again, there's no challenge in the green. And we do convert the birdie. Really disappointed that there's no challenge in the green at all. On some few, on a few holes. So hole number 13. Par 4, playing 470 yards, stroke index 11. I think for me it's the only thing that's letting this course down at times. Now, you may go and play this and land in different areas of the green and it may be a more challenge for you, but when I'm a player who likes to tack the pins, likes to get close to the pins, there's not been much challenge in and around the greens. I think the layout of the course is really, really good. There's not been as much, like I said a few holes ago, there's not been as much uh, shot shaping required as I would have expected but regardless it's a really really good course that I'm enjoying playing hope you guys are enjoying the video welcome on board by the way to all the new subscribers I really appreciate it so 151 yards up 156 is playing with uphill elevation into that wind so we're pro yeah it's gonna have to be a lofted up 8 iron here the right hand side of the green looks like where I want to be. It looks like it's going to be the easiest putt. It's a great strike. We should land right hand side of the pin. Should bounce out fairly well for me. And that's a really good approach shot. I think it's going to be another straightforward putt. Looking by the overhead cam. It is. And we do pick up another birdie. Now, you can't argue that I'm being rewarded for, for looking at the green grid and landing where I want to. But for me, I want a little bit more challenge than that. I want to be able to have to work out a putt a little bit more challenging than what I have done for the majority of this round. But hole 14, par 4, playing 485 yards, stroke in deck 7.
but the layout of the course is absolutely superb. It's a very natural course. I was just hoping for a little bit more challenge in the, the short shape inside. I'm just applying a touch of draw here. Tiny bit of draw just to help this turn round that fairway to the left. We are swinging really well today. I think we've hit every fairway in regulation to be honest. And that should leave us... I'd like to see another wedge into this green. With that 5 mile per hour wind, I think that actually would be 9 iron. Hold on. No, it's up 16 feet. So we're going to have to apply a touch of draw here. Now this looks like a far more challenging green break wise. I certainly want this left of the flag. Don't want this right of the pin. So we've maybe applied a little bit too much draw, but I want to be left of the pin. How's the yardage? I think it's going to be a little long. I tell you what, the yardage was bang on actually. Maybe a little bit more left than I would have liked. But we do have a 13 foot putt up 3 inches. I am having to think about the read here. But we do manage to get the read and the birdie. And we now move to 13 under par. Hole number 15, hardest hole in the course, stroke index 1. And it is playing 459 yards. The, the sun's back out. I really like the, the lighting on this, the way he's done it. Where the sun disappears, it reappears. And when it reappears, it puts a totally different um, look to the course. Totally different feel. It's a really tough pin location, that one. It looks like we may have to play a little bit of... Hold on, there's a gap between the two trees here. I don't think I'll have to do anything here. Just find the gap. Tiny bit of draw there, just to counteract this wind and keep it straight to find the gap here. If we can find the gap, well, it's a great execution. Beautiful look at the camera view there. Bird's eye view of the ball. And we should just come far enough out to, to get a really good look at this green. So 146 yards, up 8 feet. Tough pin location this one. Just going to loft this up a few touches. Certainly don't want to come up too short. If you are too long, you can see you've got a bit of an insurance policy. But I'm looking to fire this right at the flag stick here. This is a pin seeker, hopefully. Tell you what. It's right at it. Oh, it's a beautiful golf shot. It really is a beautiful golf shot. And we should be rewarded once again with another tap-in birdie. Well done. So, 14 under. Three holes to go here at Oxford Greens. Look at this waterfall off in the distance. Really nice touch. This one is going to be a dog leg right. Short par 4, playing 321 yards. Wonder if this is a, a drivable green. That waterfall is absolutely fantastic. Got a 3 mile per hour wind. Let's just have a quick look at that waterfall. Very, very natural. If you want to learn how to do a very, very good looking waterfall. Very natural and realistic. Look no further than that one there. I tell you what, this could be an eagle opportunity. This should be right in line. Oh, I've nailed the execution. This should be. This is going to be close. It might be a little bit long. But if this sits down, this is right in line with the pin. Stop. Oh, it's just gaining a little bit of speed. It's probably went about 18, 15 feet past. 13. Eagle opportunity here. Should turn to the right. Oh, it turned more. It turned more than I expected it to. Oh, gutted about that. But we'll take the birdie. We'll take the birdie. 
and we do move to 15 under par. There's toilets off there in the distance. I think it's toilets. So 15 under, two holes to play. Hole number 17, par 3, playing 187 yards. The water's really flowing under that bridge. So I've really enjoyed the par 3s. There have been lots of variations to the par 3s. Long par 3s, short par 3s, medium par 3s. Seven irons got to be the club here. Just deal off then it's a touch because that green is uphill. It's, it's an uphill slope on it. Really swinging well today. That needs to come down. Should kick up. Is it going to roll out? Yeah, it does roll out. I was hoping it would sit down quicker than that. But we are looking about a 15 foot putt for birdie here. Oh, 10 feet. I'm a lot closer. I've done myself out of 5 feet there. So like I say, this this has got a lot more challenge to the green, this one. I do like this. That should turn. It does turn. And we do pick up another birdie. And we move to 16 under par as we do walk on to the final tee box of Oxford Greens. It's another quite sharp short par 4. Playing 429 yards, stroke index 9. Dog leg left, water up the right hand side. I think we might have to play a severe draw shot here. Green's defended by a bunker to the left, the water marsh to the right. Can we play big dog? I think we can come over the top of that tree, you know. We may just clip this very last tree here. I like this, you know. Th these are the kind of shots I love. So we're going to loft this up. We're applying a touch of draw. I may just clip this tree. I may just clip it. Hopefully I can get right through here. This the pressure's on. This has got to be a good swing. It is a good swing. Are we getting through? Oh, we just clipped the top of it. Millimetres. Millimetres. I'm not sure how much yardage that took off. Probably probably about 10 yards tops. But we are left with another wedge into this green. 128 yards out. We've got a 2 mile per hour wind. It should help us slightly. Certainly want to land this to the right of the pin. This should be a pin seeker. With that wind behind us. We're on track. I like the way this is, tracking. is it going to bite? The wedges have not really been um, responsive in these greens at times. But once again guys, there's another straightforward putt from 9 feet. No break in that at all. And we do walk away with another birdie. So that's going to be a final round of... A 55, 17 under. Could have been better as well with it. The birdie opportunities we had in the eagle that we missed on, I think it was hole 14, eh, 16. But that is it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For me, that's a four-star course just due to the, the easy greens. There wasn't a great challenge on the greens. Everything else about the course I enjoyed. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like if you are new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.